have Spider-Man standing on his web. Nice. And here's a guy with his gun. And here's Moloch. Here's Sandman. Here's Scorpion. I don't know his name because he's from the train set. Um, his name, a name huh? He's named the Absorbing Man. He's Spider-Man again. He's Reptile. That guy who wore his mask is Hulk. We read comics every night we can. It's, it's funny that all these uh, Here's a battle joy. all these superheroes are so you know important to to the household but but I do these comics that are totally not mainstream and totally not superheroes but what can you do you've got what you what you know from what you grew up with, and that, that becomes what it is I guess are you okay Boris <laughs> for his birthday and this is when he turned two and uh, I thought oh these are kind of cute they, they've you know they've got all the different superheroes they, they had pictures of all the guys they had on the back and I, I thought uh oh this is like a collection and uh, so I thought oh I should get some more of these for the boys and Elizabeth teases me that, that I've become totally obsessed with you know, trying to find all these different guys for the boys. <laughs> I've been trying to design a cover for the, the new Doris Danger book. And I, I came up with the drawing and I sent it to the publisher. And he said, that's a nice drawing, but not for the cover. And so I came up with, with this... Uh, this just monster, and then I'm, I'm going to put kind of a vortex behind him, and uh, so I sent that to the publisher, and I'm, I'm waiting to hear if, if it's a go or not, or if I'm going to need to come up with something else. Look it. What you got there, Oscar? Mr. Potato Head on my bed, on my bed. Mr. Potato Head on my bed, on my bed. On my bed. I've got a, an art table in, in my office, but I found I, I need to kind of stay out here if, if I'm going to keep an eye on the boys to get work done. I can spread out on the table and stuff. As you can see, I've got to be careful that the ink doesn't get bumped over and the water and stuff. It's, it's a hazard. Yeah. Penciled it, and now I need to ink it. Yeah, I know. I um. That's what you meant. That's no. what I was saying. But you inked this. Yeah. With you, your ink pencil. Right. Do you like watching me ink, Oscar? Yay. Oscar will often climb up here and just watch over my shoulder while I ink. It's it's kind of gratifying. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing there, Boris? What do you want us to look at? Booby head. Thank you for sharing, Boris. Watch this, Dad. And not to be one of Boris. Oscar needs to join in. <laughs> look at me, Daddy. See you, see you. Yeah. See, see my daily life. Climb on me, Oscar. Climb on me. 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 Climb on me
Close your eye, mommy, like right on the tummy, okay? Take you to ink one page. Yeah. Inking can be four or five or six or so hours. <laughs> uh, Is that without the kids or with the kids? Yeah, I guess I guess that's with the kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I, actually, I what what I usually do is try and get a start during the day while I've got them, uh, and then at night when I get home and after dinner and after the kids are asleep and after Elizabeth's asleep, I'll I'll try and get a couple more hours in and just finish up. I, I was up till. About 11.30, about 11.30 last night, and uh, Dad, the, I the boys were up at 6, <laughs> so I, Dad, I just know. I forgot how to open up the room. I can help you with that. Okay. I, I just know that if, Dad, help. if I want to get work done, I'll, I'll be really yeah. tired and cranky the next day, <laughs> and everyone will have to pay for it. So. Dad. teaching guitar lessons and uh, so, so I do it in half hour slots and every now and then a student can't make it and I, I've got an extra half hour um, so I, I always have a portfolio with me with some art uh, just so I can in a moment's notice try and get a little work done and uh, some, sometimes even if a student is you know just running a little late 
I'll get a quick five minutes in that I can, you know, letter, letter six words before someone shows up or, you know, use rulers to rule in, you know, straight architecture or whatever. And uh, so, so being in that mindset has, has really helped to just push through and, and get work done. I, I know a lot of artists who they, they need their special place and they need to get amped up, you know, to get any work done. And uh, so, you know, it's, they, they need a solid hour or two block just, just to get anything done. And I, I would never get anything done if, if I had to do that. And so uh, the, the combination of the distractions and, uh, you know, getting those quick little five minute or half hour slots at work have disciplined me to just pound out whatever I can and any chance I get. Because um, I, don't, I don't have the luxury Get, getting in the right mindset or whatever. I, I just need to pound it out whenever I can. I've been trying to work faster with my line work. Um, it, it used to be, you know, I'd really, you know, slowly do a line and re redo it because it'd be crooked or, uh, you know, unsteady. And uh, I, I spoke with Mick Gray. Um, I showed him some of my work, and he he said it looks good, but it it looks so it looks too careful. And uh, I wasn't taking the new fireworks. I don't think he's taking them, Boris. It's okay, Felix. <laughs> um, so Mick Gray said, I've I've got to just hack it out fast because when when Kirby and Ayers and all those guys were making these monster comics back in the late 50s, early 60s, they, they had to get, you know, 30 pages done in a weekend sometimes. And they, they were just, you know, at, at ridiculous speeds. They, they would just crank out the work. And you, you can see it in the sloppiness of the work. And you can see it... Uh, in the energy, you know, there's just this amazing energy to the work, and so I've been trying to kind of capture that a little. You guys have to be more gentle.